Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Top Dawn BT Mobile Lite 12 volt wireless battery and system tester. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So it says battery analyzer wireless tech. On the side here, it lists all the standard testing ranges. So for like CCA, we have 100 to 2000. So on the back here, it says battery test, charging test, cranking test, and system test. So let's get this open. So here's the tester. It's very small, so that should fit easily in a tool pouch or somewhere on your car if you want to carry it with you. Pull these clamps out of here. The length from the top of this test device to the end of the clamp was around 28 inches. So here's the device. This is So this is powered by the battery you connect it to, and it has Bluetooth. So it says 8 to 16 volts. So you may be wondering how this could work on a potentially dead battery, but dead batteries will still have a little bit of power, so it should be enough to power this. And if it doesn't have enough to power this, then the answer is your battery is definitely dead. But I've tested thousands of batteries. I used to work in a shop doing that, and we had batteries that were so dead that our big heavy-duty battery testers wouldn't work with, so we had to charge them up before we could even test them. Usually those batteries were dead though. Rarely were they not dead. So this comes with this thick manual here. It looks like this much is in English and it has other languages in here. So this lists the type of batteries it works with. Regular flooded, AGM flat plate, AGM spiral, gel, and EFB. So I have regular flooded and AGM flat plate batteries. It says if you don't know what kind of battery you have, choose AGM to conduct the test and the air is within 10%. So it says LED indicator, solid green, solid blue, good battery connection, successful Bluetooth connection. So the little icon, it looks like a Wi-Fi icon. That would be the Bluetooth, I think, and the other would be power. So it says download and install the BT Mobile app, and that's on iOS or Android. So I'm going to read through this. I'll break in if there's anything of note. Okay, so here are these technical specs. It has the working and storage temperatures. You can read through those if that's of interest. And they have warnings in here. You'll want to read the manual before you use this. There's a lot of basic things. You will need to clean your terminals. That's very important. And basic safety, like wear eye protection, keep your hair out of the way. So for some of these tests, you'll actually run the engine. So you'll need to do that in an open area so you don't get carbon monoxide poisoning. And on the FAQ, it does say it works with motorcycle batteries and deep cycle batteries and marine batteries, which would be deep cycle. So I'm going to set this up on my iPad. I'll go into search and I'll search for ET Mobile. I see the app, I'll hit get. I'll open the app. It says it would like to use Bluetooth. I'll say, okay. It says, would you like to send notifications? I'll say, don't allow for now. I'm not sure what notifications it's sending. So it says green, steady, bad battery connect. Stop that. It says sign in. I'll say skip for now. It says set up Bluetooth connection. I'll say scan. So I'm going to go head out to my car and I'll test it there. Okay, so this is the battery in my 2017 Subaru Outback. This is the original battery. It's almost five years old. It's a 356 cold cranking amp battery and it's a flooded battery. So I'm going to remove the cover on the positive side. I'm going to connect this up to positive, and if your terminals are dirty, you're going to want to clean those. So when I put these on, I'll jiggle them a little bit to kind of scrape away any of the protective coating on there to get a good bond. Then I'll connect the other side to the negative. So there we have a light. So I'll get into my iPad now. Okay, so I'll tap on Bluetooth here. It says BT Mobile Light. I'll tap on that. And I see the light on the tester is lit. I'll show that. So I want to do a battery test. I'll tap on battery test at the bottom. I'll hit start. It says battery selection. I'll tap that. I have regular flooded, so that's correct. System standard is CCA. System capacity. It was 356, so I'll choose 355 and I'll say test. So it says battery not bad, state of health 66%, state of charge 100%, test value is 290 CCA, battery voltage is 12.62, internal resistance is 10.34. Looks like I can share that. Let's see what that does. Okay, so if I share it, it just has almost like a screenshot of the page with the information. So if you're doing this as a service and you want to show it to someone, you can always hit that share button and text it to them or email or something. So since this battery is five years old, I think it's getting close to time to replace this. I could push it a little longer, but I really don't want to take a chance of it dying out on the road this winter. So now let's switch over to my other car, which has an AGM battery. So it's a little dark here, but I'm going to disconnect the negative terminal. I'll disconnect the positive terminal, and then I'll go connect this to the other battery. Okay, so this battery is just weeks old, if that. It's very new. This is an AGM plate battery. So again, I'll connect up to the positive. I'll connect to the negative. We have the power light on the BT Mobile light. 
I'll tap on Bluetooth, I'll select it. I'll tap battery test, I'll tap start. I'll do battery type is AGM flat plate. System standard is CCA, system capacity. And this is 840. I'll hit test. So here we got state of health is 100%, state of charge is 100%, test value is 930 CCA, battery voltage is 12.98, internal resistance is 2.65. So let's try the other tests. I'll go to charging test down below. I'll hit start. It says turn off all accessories, keep the engine running at 2500 RPM for more than 5 seconds, and start the test until the test is complete. Okay, so I'll leave this here. You want to make sure these wires aren't going to fall into the fan. And I'll get in the car and I'll start this test. Now I am in a garage, I'm going to open up both of the doors so I have good ventilation. It's best to do this absolutely outside, but the exhaust is pointing right out the door here. So I don't know if I mentioned, this is my 2016 Subaru Outback. So all of the accessories are off, I'll start the engine. And I have my tachometer here. So I want to rev this up to 2500, so that'll be halfway between the 2 and the 3. So you want to be gentle with this. You don't want to over rev it. This can be a little tricky. So I'm right at a little over 2500. I hit test. I'll hit yes. It says the charging system is normal. Loaded voltage is 13.74 volts. No load voltage is 13.76 volts. The charging ripple is 3.53 millivolts. So next I'll do the cranking test. So I'll hit that. I'll hit start. It says turn off all accessories, start vehicle. So I'll hit test. It says please start the vehicle. I hit okay. It says cranking test is normal. Cranking time is 810 milliseconds. So you can also do system test. If you hit start there, it will do the battery test, the cranking test, and the charging test. So let's head back to my bench and I'll sum this up. So that's the Top Don BT Mobile Lite wireless battery and system tester. I think this is a slick little product. It's really nice being able to test your own batteries. So I have three cars myself, but when you have something like this, it's really nice to share it. So if I have a family member or neighbor that's having car trouble, I can take this and check their battery with it really easily. The nice thing about this is I can just keep this in my car. It takes up very little room, so I can just throw this in with my other supplies in the car, and it'll have it with me wherever I'm at. Like I said earlier, I've tested thousands of batteries using a kind of commercial tester. This does a lot of the same things. It works very similarly where you choose the battery type, you choose the cold cranking amps, and you input the cold cranking amps and it does the test. So there are a couple ways to get potentially a little bit better readings on it. If your battery is discharged, you'd want to charge that up. But that being said, it's best to not test it right away after it's being charged because it can have a little bit of a surface charge on it. Same with after driving it. And not saying you can't test it, maybe you might want to test it a second time if you get a result that you're not expecting. Is let it sit a while or maybe turn your headlights on or the fan inside the car on for a few minutes and that'll drain off that surface charge and then run your test. And then you can see if you get more reliable results. But this is also nice if your battery does go bad, you can test your charging system to see if your alternator is going bad because that could be the reason that your battery died is that it wasn't being charged by the alternator. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.